What's up YouTube? My name is Rodrigo and in this video I'm going to show you how to import Lightroom presets on your mobile device and on your desktop. Now if you didn't catch my previous video, I created a free Lightroom preset for you to use on your photos. So if you haven't gotten that yet, stop the video, click the link in the description, go get your free preset and then come back and follow along. So let's jump right into it. So this is going to be the installation process for your desktop presets. So once you have your folder here, after you've downloaded it from the email, you're going to right click, extract all, make sure it's going to the folder that you want it to. So you know where to find it and then just hit extract. And then right here, it'll show you the preset, the XMP file. Now from here, you're going to go into Lightroom. So once you're in Lightroom, you're going to come over here to this left side panel all the way on the top where it says presets right next to it. There's a little plus button. You want to click on that and then go to import presets. And automatically it's going to take you to the XMP file that you just extracted from the zip folder. So click on it down here, a file name. It should say downtown boogie XMP. Now, obviously if you're importing multiple presets, you want to make sure you select them all and also that they're all named down here on the file name. So once that's done, just click import and it should automatically appear on your preset panel. So here it is free preset downtown boogie. And if you hover over it, it'll give you a little preview of what the preset does to the image. So here's the before and the after. If you like it, just click on it. The settings will be saved and your preset will be on the preset panel from now on. And that's pretty much it for this part. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to download and import your mobile presets into Lightroom on your phone. So once you have your confirmation email and you have the two zip fires, you're going to come down to the bottom one to the mobile preset and just hit download. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to hit open file and it's automatically going to take you to my files. And I know iPhones now have a dedicated files app, so it should work the same way. You don't need a unzip app or anything like that anymore. Just click on files and just hit extract. And right here on the bottom, that's going to be your preset. So just click and hold, hit share, hit import into Lightroom. And once it's done importing, we're going to go to Lightroom. And there it is on the top. So once it's, once it's finished loading, you're going to come up to the top right hand corner and hit these li three little dots right here and go to create preset. And this is where you're going to name it. So we'll name this one. This is obviously downtown buggy. And right here under preset group, you can name it, you know, whatever group you want to name it, you know, so you can find it easily. So once you're done with that, just hit check up here on the top right hand corner. And there it is. That's pretty much it. So now I'm going to, I want to give you some examples of how this preset works with an underexposed photo. And then with another photo that's a little overexposed, I just want to show you what this preset does and how it works with different types of images. Cause you know, Whenever you hear about presets, the first thing they tell you is, oh, edit your image with one click and make it look amazing. You know, that's honestly a bunch of bull because the majority of the time you're going to have to mess with the settings and, and tweak things to really make it work with the preset. So I'm just going to give you some examples here. Let's click on this image that's really underexposed. And if we just apply the preset, I mean, you can see that. The colors are there, but still it's really underexposed. So all you gotta do is just mess around with the settings a little, you know, I'm going to go to exposure and just raise it up a little bit. I like it there. I mean, you can see already, you know, it's a huge difference from the before and the after. Now from here, it's all personal preference. If you want to raise the shadows a little bit more, Maybe the highlights. It's all up to you. What I 
what I want to do to this image is add more fade. And for everybody, you know, that loves that cinematic faded look, this is how you do it. You just come to the tone curve and you're going to raise the blacks. That's pretty much it. So obviously, again, this is personal preference. If you want a really faded look, then you go higher. But I'm going to eh, leave it around there. There's a before and the after. And I'm done with this image. And, you know, that's how you make that preset work with a really underexposed image. Now let's see what this preset does with an image that's a little overexposed. As you can see, some of these highlights are really blown out. So let's just see what happens when we add the preset. And that actually doesn't look too bad. You know, I'm actually really happy with this. See the before and the after. Yeah, I really like that. And obviously, if you still want to mess with the settings, you can maybe lower the exposure a little bit. Let's go 47. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, personally, I would probably add a little bit more vibrance. So let's go to the color panel. And one thing you know, you'll know you notice about my images is I hardly ever add saturation. It's always vibrance. Just because vibrance is more subtle. It gives the colors pop, but it doesn't overdo it. Like if I was just to add a bunch of saturation, that just looks gross in my opinion. You know, I really don't like that look. So my saturation is always negative. And I just add vibrance. So that's pretty much it for me. You know, I'm really happy with how this looks. So I hope this video helped you not only to download and install your presets, but also to get a feel for what this preset does with different types of images. And again, I'm going to provide you with some raw images for you to practice yourself on. And, you know... I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for checking out my presets. You know, I really hope you enjoy them. I can't wait to see what you guys do with them. And if you have any issues, you know, feel free to ask me. Send me a DM on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to reply and help you out with any issues. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.